they protect their own ears and gig goers too. It certainly made me realise I need to take earplugs with me, uh, you know, into venues. And it's something that I started doing a few years ago when I realised friends of mine, DJs, had started kind of sadly losing bits of their hearing. Um, it's very, very common within music and within um, live entertainment kind of industry. Rizan, thank you very much for speaking to BBC Breakfast. Thanks, so, Colin. Cheers. Uh, Riz Ahmed there talking to Colin Patterson. Sound of Metal's available on Amazon Prime Video from April the 12th. In cinemas, all being well from May the 17th, in line with the government's plan for the easing of lockdown restrictions. Well, it's a film that struck a chord with lots of people. One of them is Neil Cooper. He's a drummer with the alternative metal band Therapy, and he suffers with tinnitus as a result of his job. And he joins us now. Morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Morning. And I think you're lucky enough to have seen the film. Um, does it really resonate for you? Yeah, I, I thought the film was great, and I thought um, Darius Marder, the writer and director, I thought he really uh, sort of got under the skin of what the uh, what you have to deal with with the volume, and I thought the sound effects were, were excellent as well. Sort of really puts you through what uh, Riz's character is experiencing. Actually, yeah, I thought it was great. And from your point of view, um, just explain how, I mean, you, you, as you say, you, Louis said you have tinnitus now. Just explain how many years and, and what's brought that on through the drumming. Um, well, it's one of those things where I think, um, it, you know, it, it's part and parcel of, of the game, basically. You know, uh, I've always played in really noisy bands. So since the age of 18, I've been recording albums and touring with bands. And I think when you're younger... You, you know that loud volume just it's it's a way of kind of standing up and, and shouting and being heard so it's, it's part and parcel of it and I think for 12 I'd say looking at it 12 years I, I didn't have any ear protection at all and that's really when the damage was done to my hearing uh, now I, I always wear earplugs now I've got tinnitus and ear loss I can still hear um, but it's something you definitely have to manage I just got to a point where after a concert or whatever, it was just um, it, it was just driving me crazy because you're, you're really just screaming, you know. Yeah, um, and you, you talked. I think you talked about you know your ears hurt. I mean, physically hurting as well after you've been at a concert, for example. Just give us a sense of what was going on. Yeah, so it's um, it's that's the thing. It's obviously the, the, the volume is, is part of it in, in, in concerts, but also um, it's not just volume. It's it's the frequencies um, that that you deal with so it's the high end uh, frequencies that, that eventually if you know that, that can happen with teachers as well if you're if you're dealing with this high end all day uh, or high volume at night uh, yeah your, your ears can physically physically ache mine, you, mine did um, and I got to a point where I just had to do something and wear earplugs and then funnily enough because your hearing is such a, a vital uh, sense when I was wearing my earplugs, I just thought, well, I'll wear earplugs and everything will be fine. But it took me, it took me honestly about three years to, to play and perform without actually breaking things because I was breaking my cymbals and my drums. <sighs> honestly, because the, the earplugs were almost like, I was, I was after this rush of volume. And obviously the earplugs were kind of dulling. <laughs> it's the most bizarre thing. Yeah. 